I've just recorded my video and now I've plugged in my memory card into my card reader and this is how it appears. It comes up as a little drive, EOS Digital in this case, and my camera actually outputs movie files, Apple QuickTime MOV files, .mov, and they're very high definition, so uh, they, they tend to be quite big. So the first job is to get them onto my computer where I can work th with them more happily because if you try to work off the memory card it's just too slow. So I drag them onto my computer and here are some files that I've been working on. Just double click on those, open them up in Apple QuickTime. So normally I work in ScreenFlow or I'll use iMovie so in this case I wanted to show you some cheap software, it's not free, it's cheap. Uh, it's $29 for a QuickTime Pro license. So you get your video and I need to take off all the bits where I'm stroking the dog and uh, messing around and getting all lined up. And I need it to start round about here. And the way you do that is you can go into Trim. And the nice thing about QuickTime is it brings up this really nice way of looking at your video. So I can start playing and wait until I get to the appropriate point and then I can trim it. So I need to trim it round about here. Let's see if that's right. Creating a talking head video. Okay, so that's the start and then I need to go to the end and I need to trim it back before I get up and walk away. So one tip here is whenever you finish a video, just hold for five seconds just so you've got something to trim. Creating a talking head video that other people can view on their computers. And then you upload it to your blog and you can present it. So I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so now I've got just a bit of video that I need and I can hit trim. The next step is to save out your file and we can save for web which means that it creates a, a little web page with the video embedded in it or you can just save out the video so I've got to save it on my computer where I'm working in 480p size you can also save it for iPhone, iPod and various other formats and actually because I already compressed this video down to being 480 size so that's 480 pixels high I don't get the option of some other formats but if you went save as on your computer you would see some different sizes and uh, qualities so 480 is what I'm working on and uh, I can just hit save as, as you can see it says save the movie using 2 megabits H264 to 640 by 480. The only bit you really need to concern yourself with there is the H.264 is a really high quality video format which is taking over from Flash. So if you've heard about exporting as Flash movies before, I actually recommend you export as H.264, however you're supposed to pronounce that, because that'll work on a computer, it'll work on a smartphone, it'll work on the iPad, and more people can use that and it's becoming the the dominant format now. So when you save that out it will save it to a reasonable size for online viewing and it will not take up all your bandwidth and it will not be a super slow download. So you've got to remember that a lot of people are still on slow connections. So you just hit save, it will save that out and the next step is to get it onto the blog.